Today, okay, this video we are going to go through the op uh, operation and troubleshooting of USB Loader GX. Okay, USB Loader GX right here when you first start up. If you have a bunch of games, see mine started pretty quick because I only have 31. But if you have one of the like two terabyte hard drives that have like 1100 games on it, it may take, it may get a white screen here for about two to three minutes and while it's reading your titles, okay? So give it a few minutes to read the contents of the, of the hard drive or SD card and then your game should show up, okay? Alright, so now you say you want to play just Wii games and you don't want to see any GameCube games. Right here you want to select title sources, just unselect uh, GameCube. Okay. Now if you have a bunch of games, like I mentioned before, it may, it may freeze up for just a second, for about a minute, and then the screen will flash up a couple of times and then you'll see your games. Give me a second. Okay, now obviously vice versa if you want to see just the GameCube games. Okay. Or have both selected if you want both. Okay. And then if you also have WiiWare games for me, which if you got the I Want It All package, oh, you'll have all of them. You'll have Wii, come on, you'll have Wii GameCube and um, WiiWare. So go up here. Always leave NAN channels unchecked. NAN channels are just the channels that are on your home menu. So Wii Flow, USB Loader GX, Homebrew Channel, all that stuff. So just leave that unchecked. But MU NAN channels will give you the WiiWare and the Virtual Console games. Now that does not include the games that are played through Wii Flow, the 5,000 games. There's like 150 or 200 games that come with the WiiWare games um, that uh, are played with that. So now it's going to take a minute because there's over 700 of them. So just give it a second and let it read them all. Now, I also want to mention, since I said it comes with the WiiWare games, most of my setups, including the I Want It All, only has WiiWare games. It does not include the Virtual Console games, because all of the games that are here through the Virtual Console are just duplicates of what are in my retro setup through Wii Flow. And plus, it takes up a lot more space on the SD card that I can use to fill with hundreds more retro games. So we're just going to give it a few minutes here to read all the games. There we go. So now you can see we got all the WiiWare games and all the Virtual Console games. Okay. Alright, so see I have up here, I have MU NAND, Wii, and GameCube. So that'll be all the games. Just leave NAND unchecked, okay? Now I have not tested every single WiiWare and Virtual Console game, so please... If you find one or two that don't work, please don't be frustrated. It's I, I apologize. I don't have enough time to check all of these games, okay? All right, so now that we went through there, um, I'm going to show you the different layouts. Now, this is what I call the carousel. This is my favorite. I like it like this. All the games are always in alphabetical order. You press the plus button to go forward a bunch, or you could just press the over button. It'll take you one on the Wii Remote, or plus excuse me, press and hold the plus button and it will take you, it'll go really, really fast. So say you're in A and you want to go to G, just hold it down. <coughs> Forgive me. And I check it every couple minutes to see where I am. So F, G. Okay, now I'm in the G's, okay? There's also a search bar up here, for, but from my experience, it is very, 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 very slow and it seems to freeze it up a lot. So I just like to use press and hold the plus button and go forward and that just seems to work better for me or minus button to go backwards okay uh, you can also favorite things that's what the star is up here you can give it like a star rating so say it's like my favorite game I can get a five star rating and then I go up here to the favorites menu I'm not going to do it because just like the search it seems to be very slow and freeze quite a bit so I'm going to I'm just going to uh, just gonna unfavorite that okay all right so now there's here's the other ways you can have the games laid out there's this one and you can press the up button and it'll take two or one it'll go up to three rows of games unless you have really good eyesight I wouldn't suggest that one these two are good if you like these better and then there's also the uh, channel view here now, I, I 
I think these are neat, but I prefer not to use them just for the simple fact that I have, I think, over 200 uh, mods or hacks, and the the cover, the channel covers, are not different than the original. So I have like 120 Super Mario Brothers hacks. So when you come in here, you're going to have 120 all the exact same channel loaders, okay? So now if you didn't get any mods from me, by all means do this. If you did and you don't mind, it's absolutely fine. Then you just hold your your little uh, finger over it and it'll tell you the title. You can just do it like that. Okay? Alright. Okay, now I'm going to go back to mine here. Now, say it's missing a cover. I know I had one in here that was missing a cover just for the purpose of this video. And you need to download covers for some reason. Most likely you will have all the covers, but if for some reason you see you're missing... If you get the I want it all and you see three or four covers that are missing, those games just do not have covers. They just don't, there's none in existence. I've done my best to find them. Okay? So you just go up here to this little list view right here, and you select any cover. It doesn't matter. You don't have to find the ones that are missing, and it'll bring up the cover download. Okay, so now if you have all these checked, it's going to download every single cover for every single game. Okay, so now... Each game has multiple covers. They will have a 3D cover, which is what you see right there. They'll have a flat cover, which will only be the front, the front image. And they'll have a full cover, which is a wraparound, but it doesn't kind of pop out with the shadow behind it like that one, which is a 3D. And then it also has disc arts, which are irrelevant now, because in the old versions of USB Loader GX, when you click the game, it used to bring up a spinning disc to tell you that the game was starting. It doesn't do that anymore. And then custom banners are for when they do have the custom banners like this. Okay? So what I generally do when I'm downloading covers is I unselect everything except for 3D and full covers. Okay? Because not every game will have a 3D cover and not every game will have a full cover. So if you only select 3D, you may get 90% of the covers, but you may have a couple that are missing. Okay? But again, so I have... I know it's giving me a little R here, which is weird. But, um, let's see if I go out and go back in if it fixes itself. No, that's strange. Anyway, I have 700 and... There we go. Seven. What happened there? What did I click? 759. Oh, what's it doing? Anyway, um, so I have 759 games, but I may select... You know, I'm going to select everything but these, and it may tell me that it has... 1100 covers you know what I mean and you're gonna say what the heck that's because it has one 3d and one um, flat cover or whatever for each one so it's gonna download two covers obviously it says I'm missing 13 and if you want to download them you say yes if you don't you say no I'm gonna say no okay so that is all there is to it for this video um, Generally, when you buy anything from me, um, there isn't any leftover space unless it is required. So, see here, I have, I'm doing that R thing again, but I have 300, or excuse me, 3 gigabytes left of 467, I think it is, gigabytes. It's a 500 gigabyte um, hard drive. But anyway, I have 3 gigabytes available. Um... So I was going to say, if you want to if you want to add a game, you just put a game in the disk drive and you click this little add. So I have one in there right now. It's probably going to tell me it's already installed, though. And you can install it to your hard drive. Um, GameCube games, it will only let you install it to a USB device. Wii games will let you install to an SD card or a uh, hard drive. It's probably going to tell me you already have this game on here. But anyway, if you did, if you have a physical disc collection and you want to make a backup of it, that's how you do it. You can get another or an additional hard drive if you want. I just I just pressed back. I just canceled it. Okay? So, so say you want to back up your physical collection. Okay? So you have a bunch on, on disc and you want to back them up. So get another hard drive. Um, you, want to, you want to format your hard drive to FAT32 with 32,000 cluster size. Okay, and then you plug it in, and you go right here, and you press plus, and you want to do that every time. So be inside USB Loader GX, put your game in, press plus, it'll say, are you sure? And then it'll say SD or current device. I think that's what it says, and current device is the USB device. 
And then that way you can make um, backups of your physical game discs. And you can even, you know, continue to use the SD card that I provided you and just download covers for the, for the games that you back up. Okay? So that's all there is to USB Loader GX. Um, oh, I also wanted to mention, sometimes, this only happens rarely, but if you get, um, if you try to play a GameCube game and it comes up with an error message and it says, to play GameCube games with this loader, you need to put uh, the boot.dole and the Nintendo loader path. Excuse me if I said that incorrectly. Um, it's a very, very simple fix. You can either do it for all the games or that one individual game. So let's see. Let's find a GameCube game. Come on. My little Wii remote's being kind of a pain. So let's just choose GameCube. Okay? Alright, so let's say I try to play this one and it gives me that error message. So I just go to settings of the game and you just want to go default game settings. Are you sure? Yes. Now if that doesn't work, you can just do it for the whole system. You just go settings. And you want to go, um, I think it's the third page, default settings. Are you sure you want to reset everything? Okay. And it's going to reset all the settings for all the games. Okay. But then that should be all it takes and your game should work absolutely fine. So that's all I can think of, guys. Um, if you have any other problems, send me a message. Wine Country Signs with a Z instead of an S at the end of signs at yahoo.com or winecountrygames at gmail.com or send me a message through eBay. And I'll be more than happy to help you. So thank you so much again for your purchase or for your interest. And have a wonderful day.